Welcome to this short Jamboard app preview. We like using Jamboard because it's easy to set up through a template and it's a quick way to capture student thinking. Jamboard is a tool you can use when thinking about ways to connect your students and their thinking virtually. Summarizing student work and having student work captured as evidence for future work is an important way to formatively assess throughout the year. Let us showcase some features of Jamboard to consider. So guys, one thing you want to do first is go to the Google Play Store and type in Jamboard and add the app to your Google Apps. So it's very simple to do. Once you find the Jamboard icon, you'll want to download this so that it appears in your Google Apps so that you can quickly access this all the time. So what is a Google Jamboard? You can kind of think of this like a slideshow where students have screens and you, the teacher, have screens that you can fill in. You can add up to 20 screens to your Jamboard and you can easily create new screens by making copies of previous screens or you can start out with blank ones. So you can simply click the three buttons to create a duplicate. Students can add information and you, the teacher, can add information to a screen by using the tool toolbar here on the side. One way you can do this is you can add information by writing it out using the ink pens and you have a variety of sizes, uh, the highlighter, and you have colors that you can uh, change. You can also at any time erase information that you've written in on the screen. You can also use the select feature if you need to click, drag, or move things around on the screen. One really new, unique feature is the sticky notes. And so you can add sticky notes or have your students enter their responses using a sticky note and adding that to a screen. Students can add images from their computer or their, or their Google Drive account to the Jamboard so that they can quickly showcase their work or their thinking. You can also add on shapes of different sizes as well as add on text boxes just like you would in a Google Doc or a Google Slide. And then you can type within those boxes the information you want. At any time when you're presenting with Jamboard, you can also make use of the laser feature that will help students see exactly what it is you want them to learn and point out. So as you create your Jamboard, a couple of things you might also consider is the background features where you can change the background uh, colors and designs. But at any point, if you're not happy with your work, you can clear the frame and you can also edit and undo just like you would with any other Google product. Here's an example of a math lesson that we've created. We wanted our students to enter their name and to answer a this question. Uh, prompt about the sand timer problem. So as a teacher, I might quickly duplicate this slide so that each of my students can have their own slide to go to and to fill in this information. Here are some examples and ways that students answered this problem. Here they typed in their responses. Here they created visual di diagrams and labeled. Here they were able to upload a picture and to talk about how they created that answer. Notice that when a student adds their information, you as a teacher can drop in a sticky note, giving them feedback or advice or question them even more about their thinking. Here's an example of students using the drawing feature. And throughout this, the students can add as much information to their board as you want. You can even have multiple students working on one Jamboard. So Jamboard is a very, very easy feature. You, the teacher, could have a slide at the very end where you have questions and templates ready to drop on your student screens. Once you're ready, you're going to click the share button. And just like with any Google product, you're going to want to change your permissions so that, so that you can add Jamboard to your Google Classrooms. You can have students view or you can have them be the editor, which allows them to add information to the board. And ladies and gentlemen, as always, if you have any questions or need more help with Jamboard, the math team is here ready to serve you. It doesn't matter what subject you teach. We will be here for you. Just let us know and you guys have a great day. Thank you.